You may be wondering how much force it would take to crush this fruit that grows on a tree. Well, it may surprise you, but your butt cheeks are actually relatively strong. In fact, if you do a lot of glute gym activities, you could potentially tug objects, if positioned right, with a rope between your buttocks. Grip strength and your ability to maintain that grip is also what matters for concentrated force. If you were to crush an apple, make sure to be wearing something like leather or polyurethane pants so the apple cannot fall out between steer bottom. An average apple in good condition takes about 70 pounds of force to crush it, meaning if you punch an apple with about 70 pounds of PSI, you could make it into a pile of apple pie. Simple enough. Now there's a difference between crushing strength and punching strength. Crush refers to the ability to apply continuous force to compress and squeeze an object until it deforms, but in this instance, breaks into smaller pieces. This is when two objects are working against each other to compress the apple so it can become crushed. While punch strength is quick, an explosive force transferring energy from your body to the apple very quickly. To improve your glute strength, focus on gym exercises like I said previously. These include squats, feet and shoulder width apart, glute bridges lie on your back with knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Lunges are when you stand with your feet together, step one foot forward, and then lower your body until both knees are bent at a 90 degree angle, plus many exercises. Unfortunately, your buttocks were not designed to force itself together in this manner. You would need precise force plus the unfortunate potential of bruising afterwards. But if you trained your glute area with these exercises every day, potentially for up to two years, in theory, with precision and wearing a grip strength material, congratulations, you will end up having a juicy butt. Pun intended. I don't know why I made this video.